Welcome, little guided soul. I've shuffled these cards a bit. I'll continue to do that. And they are ready to reveal the energy around you. If you're seeking guidance or synchronicities, let's dive into um, into the take. So take away what resonates and leave what doesn't because you can trust that the universe has a way of speaking directly to you. Let's see what unfolds. The Seven of Swords. The Sun and the Two of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like right now you're looking at some sort of change that could take place in your life, but perhaps isn't. Mm -hmm. And it's difficult to know what to choose. I see like you haven't made a choice about it yet. What Spirit is saying that you should do is to look on the situation from several different perspectives which can sometimes be hard right when we come back to look at something the same whole way we have to approach things in an indefinitely new way and that's what's going to give us your outcome here in, in the star and it's inevitable that you need to Navigate your way through this. The energies are supporting you. It's just going to take a little bit from your end to be able to uh, solve this issue. I think the way that you're going to find a solution is through some kind of innocent uh, approach to the situation. If you go out and maybe have a day where you change up your routine, if you if you haven't had fun in a while and you go have fun, it could bring you a new perspective of what it means to um, start the right action that's going to get you through this uh, decision, this part in your journey. And if if you have fun all the time perhaps go out and be responsible and take a small step towards something that's more stable but approach it in a way that you wouldn't normally if you change up your routine you can change up your uh, habitual thought patterns that we have every single day and doing that is going to help you see solutions that you never did before the chariot in reverse I feel like there could hold on give me one more card on the bottom of the deck the eight of wands in reverse the chariot in reverse I feel like there could be something that you're afraid to change something that is could be difficult to take action on i'm not getting that it's difficult to let go perhaps or even change your opinion on even though it'll take some creative um creative juices to get yourself through this it it could be something that seems difficult to approach It could feel like it's coming on too fast, or it could feel like everything's just going too slow. What else is here? King of Pentacles in reverse, and the Nine of Wands in reverse. Spirit is saying don't be so hard on yourself for not building something that's so stable uh, right now. I'm hearing that quote about millionaires 
it's it takes it takes um some it takes like 15 years to become an overnight millionaire there's basically no shortcut and there's no telling when your time is going to be so i've pulled the 8 of 8 of pentacles on top of the king of pentacles and the 9 of wands these are all my cards of building a strong foundation really there is a strong foundation there or if you feel like you need to start there's a great chance but it takes your viewpoint on where you're at to be able to put yourself in the right state of mind to be able to take the action necessary or to see the action necessary um, that's gonna get you through the energy into the wheel of fortune before it's fleeting or before it o overwhelms you and blindsides you get you a fortune it's time to treat yourself to something special I think you could be taking things a little too seriously so it's important to change up your routine like these otters here. I love this card to see how they're enjoying the water on the riverbank. The Six of Cups is just a, a balanced energy, but of threes. It's very uh, creative and, and fun and happy. And I think changing up your routine in that way could really bring in a new perspective, even if it's just calming you down about something that you're dealing with um you know that's coming up at you this week any more cards the ten of pentacles Wow. I'm hearing that you are going to make it all the way to where you need to go. You see the full moon here? I, I mean, I noticed it, but it's just sticking out to me this time. I think that it's going to take some, a few months or, or it's going to manifest on a full moon. It's just going to take some work, you know, getting lost in the process. It's funny. I just noticed the, the little bunnies here. I always knew they were there, but something's coming to my mind. That parents say, isn't it true that parents say after they have kids, uh, kids grow up too fast. It's because they lose themselves in the process. Life can be a really fun experience, but we're also here to learn something. Are you here to learn how to creatively handle situations? Are you here to uh, enjoy it or take things easier on yourself? You know, Earth is a very hard place. It's very competitive and and things change quickly. It's important for subtle things to not go, um, not be fleeting, but to, but to carry the lessons with us. I am imagining somebody with a briefcase, one of you guys out there that's holding on to these lessons and and using it to be able to navigate the situation that's coming at you now it's going to take some it's going to take some thinking or actions that are outside of your normal operating zone and it's going to come with a lot of fortune for you either in your material world 
with all these, with the pentacles and the nine of wands in the center of your reading. Or it's going to come with a stronger state of mind. Whatever your situation is, let me know down in the comments. It helps me get in tune with your energy, and I would love to, s to hear from you guys. And that's your reading. No extended today. I'm going to um, experiment with some sh a sh another shorter reading and see if you guys like that. So like the video and drop something down there. Thanks.